That's something that Coach Bielema told us about. He's been deferring to the second half, and they've been having some serious slow starts as a football team in the last couple of games. Donnie Navarro back deep, and he'll take the touchback. Oversell the importance of a third down on the first series of the game, but Illinois has gotten off to such slow starts this year, they might need this one. As Peters rolls out. Hits his target Isaiah Williams at the 45 yard line tackled at the 48 Brandon Jennings Peters is nice and calm he gets some serious pressure from his right But he just jogs away from that throttles down and then gets on the same page with the versatile Isaiah Williams And it is a big conversion Second and seven near midfield and a crossing pattern complete to Deuce Span. He paid the price on a hard hit from Nick Cross earlier in the drive. Third and eight here. Peters going through his progressions to the outside and broken up. Well, they can throw the ball around the yard. They want to run about 80 plays per game. And to Michael Loxley. So they'll work quickly here, and a handoff in the backfield goes nowhere. Under Vailoa, searching, searching, scrambling, and he'll tuck out. Colton Spangler, junior from Pasadena, Maryland. Lefty boots it away. And it's fair caught at the 33-yard line. Third down and eight. They converted on a third and long earlier. Peters down the field and broken up. Intended for Isaiah Williams. Each team with three and out. How about that arm strength? Man, oh. did he whip it out there effortlessly. <laughs> this punt will drive still back all the way to his own two-yard line. And the Aussie with a phenomenal boot, 63 yards. Second down and eight. By Aloha to the perimeter and nicely kept in bounds by Dante Demas. Illinois doing a lot better defensively here early, starting a lot faster than they have. Second and ten, it's Demas again. Tiptoes the sideline, spun down at the 32 yard line. It's the first time a Terp's done that since, since Stefan Diggs in 2013. Witherspoon really close to coming up underneath that and making a pick. Vailoa facing pressure, scrambles to his right and can't get away. Well, he's their captain, he's their leader, he's their war daddy. Jake Hansen, look at him, zeroing down Tonga Valoa, who's very fast but does not give up on the play, grabs at the arm, swipes at the leg. The clock winding down here, and they get it away. This is Anthony Pecorella. Punts it all the way to the Illinois 15. Backtracking from there was Navarro, and they'll get back to that 15-yard line. Third and one. And it's a short one. And they've got it. And it's Brown again, still on his feet. You see in the short yardage, if you get through that first level of contact, things can get crazy. Again, he takes out Brandon Jennings. Still very much a kid his way into the system. Second down, Peters. Nice catch for McCray. Turns up field, and McCray with a stiff arm to get inside the Maryland 25-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Well, let's look at McCray there. He, he's supposed to maybe pick up Blitz. There, there is no screen call because you don't see any linemen detaching to block downfield. And that is just a big hit onto the helmet, launching into the helmet. Here's James McCourt, senior from Ireland, and the kick is blocked. First time that James McCourt has had a kick blocked in his career. Senior. Iloa back to work. And that'll be a loss. Big one at that. So far, so good, I would imagine. 
It's a third. It's a first down play here for the Terps. And a throw downfield is hauled in by Rakeem Jarrett. And at a certain point, Maryland is going to start to stretch the field with these very, very skilled perimeter players. Terps one for three on third down and up. Shovel to the outside. Jacobs. Can he get there? You bet. Handed off here. Fleet Davis. Cut it back to the inside. Is tuned to run. They can go at whichever speed you'd like. Look at Eric Harris, number 66, the center there, walling off Jake Hansen almost all the way down the field until Hansen finally breaks away and makes the tackle. Reverse to Daryl Jones, and he has nowhere to go in the backfield. Gets swarmed. Crossing pattern, it's Demas. He'll spin, but he can't get away. Tackled by Tony Adams. Already seen one block field goal from chip shot range. This from 32 for Joseph Petrino, and it is good. Brings back most. Another talent on the ground. And Brown will push the pile to get a first down for Illinois. Peters was crossed up. He thought he had support in the backfield. There was none. And Sam Okwana. You know, Chase Brown did actually a pretty good job of going away and just filling that hole because right away that loop was coming to get Peters, but there were just more people on the blitz that could be blocked. And a great call. Puck will bounce to the 40. Illinois has done a great job, especially down in the red zone. Second and five. There's a dark complete up the middle of the field. Corey Deitches, the tight end. There goes Penny Boone. With his first touch of the ball game. Illinois. No one pressure, but it leaves a gaping hole for Boone. Penny Boone bringing that Detroit Rock City out of MLK High School, home of the Crusaders in Detroit, Michigan, storming down the field. And completions in a third and long. Lots of time, great blocking. That's the four-man rush, and he'll complete along the near sideline to Jones. This again from 32. And Petrino. Wide right. Three and three. They might get a freebie here. Peters taking a shot to take advantage of it. Oh, heavy collision. I think that face-to-face -face contact was between Coley. Meanwhile, it's Peters stepping up in the pocket. It is caught. Peters has to step up into the pocket to deliver this. And it's still just the one place that he could get it to Williams to get down and make the cap. Line I moving quickly, and they're going to get burned on it. It's Darrell Nachami, and we'll step aside. Big completion, Isaiah Williams. Illinois in business. Having some trouble. I thought it was just the cardinal rule in television. You talk about something, and then the opposite happens. There's Chase Brown in the flat. Cuts it back. Chase Brown up the sideline, brought down inside the 15 run for the running back Chase Brown and again they're knocking on the door Chase Brown comes wide open out there on the swing nobody there and this is just a great move on the edge on Nick Cross to gain about 12 more yards line to gain is the two Peters floats it end zone incomplete off the hands of Nick Cross this from 25. Remember the block earlier in the game. And we are tied. A lot of guys that look great on paper, but on the road at night in conference to open things up. Tough. The Bailoa has time and has Daryl Jones along the near side. Second down at six. 
on to Bailoa in the gun. Steps up in the pocket and gets brought down. Jerzon Newton. It's a four-man rush, not a three-man rush, and what a move that Newton puts on Mason Lunsford, the guard. Tons of time. Look at all that blocking. Tonga Bailoa calls out a receiver, and is the catch made? No. Not a lot of talking going on their sideline. I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about this. Beccarella punts it away. Navarro from the 15, tripped up. So Brown gets them the first down. 13 seconds, still one timeout for Illinois to play with. Pressure coming, and Peters gets ripped out. Nachami with the sack. Five yards on first down for Daryl Jones. Dunga Bailoa takes off, and there he goes. He's past midfield. And finally steps out at the Illinois 35 yard line. 35 yards. This is part of the script, too. Another zone read, and he was always going to pull it. They, they called for him to pull it. Fleet Davis with a good fake. And that is enough to get Maryland, after two plays, up and running and into Illinois territory. He's taken off like that. It's for that kind of yardage. Again. Has a check down available. It's Fleet Davis. We expected this from Maryland. Up tempo. And here's a catch for Jones. Look at all the orange pants and navy blue jerseys that had to surround. Jones basically just running an out route and then brings it back underneath in the over pursuit from Witherspoon. Almost to score. This is a score. For Teon Fleet Davis, and right out of the shoot in the second half, the Terps have a touchdown. Did pretty well by Coach Loxley and Dan Enos in the locker room. They need to stay on the field. Illinois 5 for 10 tonight. Third and seven. On their own 28, Peters under duress. Blake Hayes. Already has a punt of 60 plus tonight. He's on base to break nearly every Illinois punting record. And it's fair caught. Three plays sitting down with your Hanson and that Illinois defense. And now you got to get out and defend Tungamaloa again. And Teon Fleet Davis, who had the touchdown. Start to distribute the ball to multiple playmakers. You see things opening up. Hanson can't stay with Davis as he crosses from gap to gap. Six carries, 38 yards. This evening, swung to Jones. And he gets a couple extra yards fighting through the contact. He's out at midfield. But well done by Jones and the ball security of hanging on. And Maryland is moving. It is a first down for Maryland. Give it to him again. Coach Bielema was talking to us about earlier in the week where they become more deflated. It's caught by Brian Cobbs. This is a very quick play, and that ball is out in a hurry, right between the one and the five for Cobbs. And he's upended immediately. Quick decision making. So Brian Cobbs this evening. First down for the Terps. They are cooking with gas now. It's Daryl Jones over the middle for another first down. Nice fake to Fleet Davis. 21 yards, and they're moving quickly. Whoa, hello, Rakeem Jarrett. Read this right away, and nobody blocked him. He's supposed to be blocked there. Loss of one. No matter for Fleet Davis, who stumbled a bit. Like he got the ball caught in the turf, and it's on the deck. Illinois has it. What was looking like... Another sure score on this drive. And again, it's McCray who lowers the shoulder. And he has the first down at the 19-yard line. So with Brown rotated in. 
Peters go to the air has time flushed out he'll take off Peters first down and more up to the 40 yard line Peters is a big guy it's a lot to tuck that ball and make the decision and he just tucks it doesn't leave the ball up doesn't keep his eyes upfield and that's a nice check down to Chase Brown he's out across midfield and tackled inside the Maryland 40-yard line. No separation for Peters down the field. So what is there? The check down, and Brown can make moves when he gets free. Explosive move here. Wow. <laughs> More Jacory and Bennett. They're going to watch that in the state tomorrow. Yes. There'll be some laughs in the room there. He went straight to the turf. Isaiah Williams, the man in motion. Give it to Josh McCray, and McCray slips a tackle inside the 20. Stick arm inside the 10. Touchdown, Illinois. When this young man gets the ball, what other proof do you need? He takes it to the left side, makes a decisive cut, and then nobody wants a piece of him. Don't try to tackle that guy high. Woo. Bennett tries. Tied at 10. And the Illinois defense seems to be energized by that. No gain on the play. The fumble on the previous play here. Let's see it. It's Penny Boone. And they are right on top of him. There he is. He's, he's not down. Uh -huh. uh, that ball is out. Wow. And it is ripped free. That is a strip. And Illinois is showing Blitzy. They'll back off. Rush three, Tonga Vailoa, tons of time, backs up in his own end zone, looking for a target downfield, it is incomplete. And the punt is forced, Illinois again with a momentum swing. Anthony Pecarella with the punt. In the 35-yard line, Donnie Navarro will only get one on the return. Less discipline penalties that were a problem last week. There goes Brown. Oh, did he get decked after crossing the 40-yard line? Hold a guy up and chop him down. You see it right there. Well, I mean... Almost looked like he stumbled in, huh? Well, I, they didn't do it at the same time. So, I mean, the, the penalty comes when you hold a guy up. And then... Any plays in your playbook for third and 32? Quick kick. What a schizophrenic game. <laughs> what a game indeed. And Illinois has the lead for the first time tonight. What do you do well? You throw out routes to your best, best receiver. Well done. There's Isaiah Jacobs, and he has a first down. There's Demas. And Demas spins away from a tackle at the 45-yard line. Gets to the 46. Coach Loxley were telling us, play or not play, right? Get the ball to somebody who's exciting with it in his hands and can make something happen. Breaking tackles, making people miss is Demas. Again, they're sticking with Jacobs in the backfield. 
Hunga by Loa pulls it back. Moves around the outside. High steps his way past the 45 yard line and then gets a hard oh, shot oh, out of bounds oh, by Devon Witherspoon. Hunga by Loa heaves it downfield. He has Davis caught for the touchdown at their own 44. Hunga by Loa in trouble. Down he goes. Well, let's see what happens here. Newton's getting pushed in the middle and then right around the edge is Carney, Owen Carney from Miami, Florida. Newton was really holding it down in the middle, unable to push in the pocket. Was Tonga Valoa because of Newton. Yeah, give Carney the sack. Flag here. Maryland rushing three. It's caught by Navarro. First down for Illinois, Donnie Navarro. Transfer comes through and watch Peters tap this ball the second he sees Navarro open. Taps the ball and delivers a beautiful strike. Very catchable. Navarro settles down right in that zone. Excellent route for his quarterback. Well executed on third down and they know it. Jakari Norwood cut down the backfield. Peters drops back to pass. Throws near side. Broken up. Flag comes in. That is Corey Coley wearing zero. Here he is. But he won't get there. He's had a couple inside the 10 tonight. yard line. And this is the moment for Tonga Valoa. And off the fleet. Davis up the middle. Boy, did he get a great block. First down for the Turks. Tonga Valoa fires a dart complete to Daryl Jones. Out across the 45-yard line. Tackled immediately by Kirby Joseph. Play action. Has time. Tonga Bailoa caught by Demas into Illinois territory. And Demas brought down. It's easier to protect the end zone than it is those sticks. And second down. There he is again. Completing this time to Deshaun Jones. Spins away from two tackles. How about the yards after the catch for Jones? A lot of courage in the finish by Jones, but... You just mentioned it. He has the skill. Look at him thread the needle on that throw. Beautiful shot. Tonga Valoa. First and goal for the Terps. Catch for Fleet Davis. Spins away. Fleet Davis to the end zone. Touchdown, Maryland. What a drive. What a finish. When Maryland had some momentum, this time it's a swing pass, and he has a plan immediately upon making the catch. He hits that spin button. And don't forget Chase Brown catching the ball out of the backfield. Yeah, yeah. Big weapon for Illinois that's not available. No gain on the play. Second down. Peters throws. Caught. Navarro. Two timeouts. Plenty of time. Touchdown not necessary. And off to Love. And does he get there? Yes, he does. It's a first down for Illinois. Second and 21 from their own 25. And Peters will have to eat it. The available down the field, no wide receivers able to get any separation for Peters to throw the ball to. An interesting play call, third and 28. Remember, Maryland, two timeouts. Peters drops back, doesn't see anything develop. Well, just dump it off. Don't know if he's eligible. Yeah, he's, he's not. not. <laughs> Blake Gerazzi. Doug Kramer, who was injured, their starting center. Look at him. Look at him turn. Yeah. Take a look. Oh. Switches the ball? Come on. Turn of events. Offense, number 18. Lost it down at the spot of the foul. Fourth down. 
Blake Hayes does have a long tonight of officially 58. He had one that was originally 60 plus. Shortened up on a negative return. This bounces out at the 45 yard line. Throws, tots at the 30 yard line by Rakeem Sherritts. Screen pass juggled momentarily. Fleet Davis brings it down inbounds, allowing Maryland to take their time. It is good, and Maryland wins it. The Terps are 3-0 for the first time since 2016.